Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Funko News. Today we have the New York Comic Con 2020 Funko Pop Final Reveals. These are the day one reveals, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss out on this Funko News episode for the NYCC for September 14th, 2020. A lot of great stuff on here today. Up Funko Pop, Star Wars, Pinocchio, most of the stuff we knew. We didn't have the final glam shots, now we do. Super stoked about these Funko Pops. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the most up-to-date and latest Funko news like today. And be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy these Funko news episodes. Also, also guys, you definitely want to subscribe because I got a giveaway going on right now. So the link will be in the description for this and in the comments. So if you want to join this giveaway, then go follow those instructions. But anyways, let's get right into this episode of Funko News. So before we get into the New York Comic Con Funko Pops, we did have some stuff to release and some spoilers. So we have the Harry Potter Advent Calendar spoiler. So if you want to skip past this so you don't get this ruined for you, then here it is. Bam! So, um, so there's what? There's 24 uh, little pop, little Funko Pops here. I love the uh, Harry Potter advent calendars. You have the Phoenix there. I think the Phoenix is probably my favorite one out of all of these. Dumbledore, Harry Potter, obviously, Ron. A lot of great characters. There. I should have got this for my wife. I think I still could get this because she doesn't even know. She doesn't even watch my videos, so she's not going to watch this spoiler. But I think the advent calendars is one of the, one of the best things that Funko does. I think so. Um, I think they're great. So... Here's all the spoilers if you wanted to see them. Ooh, they got Hedwig too, nice. You can see that one's a little bit smaller than all the others, but still, all these are great. Here we have something that, now, ma'am, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the New York Comic Con and be ready for Pops on the Rise and ones that you guys should be picking up, the ones that I think are gonna be worth the most money. But I will say, I think this should have been a New York Comic Con. They dropped the ball this year on some of the Pops they they put in there and by far the New York Comic Con is the worst one out of the year I think out of all the cons as far as the releases so far we'll see what happens in the next couple of days because it's only day one reveals but here we have Prof Professor Hulk with the Glow Chase and Comic PX exclusive this combo was sold on Entertainment Earth and it was PX previews exclusive going for $35 this one is sold out but they do have they do have the other one that you can pre-order for $24. They both look fantastic, but you missed out on getting the comic book. Uh, maybe they restock on that. I doubt it, but this releases in November for $25. I don't collect a lot of the PX exclusive deluxe editions because they're just, I feel like the box is weird and I don't really like most of the pops in them. But let's go back to the Hulk. This thing is fantastic. It has the bunny slippers on. He has two weapons glow in the dark it's i don't know i think they did i think this should have been a new york comic con honestly and here we have some halloween funko pops that are available most of these are sold out online you have the invisible man vampire jack dave acula and frankenstein obviously frankenstein's the most popular out of these and then vampire jack i think would be next invisible man and dave acula you know what my wife said to me the other day she's just like because she wanted the pop keychain, and I was just like, we're at Toys R Us here in Japan. And I was like, hey, I'll get you one of these minion keychains to put on your chain. And she's, and she's like, I hate minions. And I was like, what? I was like, I did not know that. I thought everybody loved minions. I like, I don't hate them. I, I like, I like the show, like, or the movies. And I was just like, did not know that about my wife. But I did just order my wife a Naruto pop keychain. So that's where she went. But yeah, go check your local Walgreens. They're only going for 11 bucks. Go try to pick some of these up. And these, I think, all will do well in the future for resale value. And, ah, man, another opportunity missed by Funko that they could have done for the New York Comic Con. Besides the, some of the stupid stuff they got going on there, it's this is fine. And it's where there's a dog and the house is burning down. And this one's going for the at Icon line right now. And it's only 14 bucks, man. And it's releases in December. I think everyone has to get this just for the comedy relief that this thing has. Like when we're in this pandemic right now, 
you know, we're all in our houses. <laughs> everything's running down around us and we just have this dog that says, this is fine. You know, everything's fine. But in reality, everything is fine. And this should have been a New York Comic Con Funko Pop. Like, come on, man. Like, why is Funko dropping the ball on these cons? I know a lot of people were hating on the San Diego Comic Con Funko Pops, but there's no reason for that. Now I can, I hear the complaints and I understand why, you know? This one should get a lot of complaints. But anyways, here we have the Box Lunch Scooby-Doo. This one is sold out. So hopefully they restock. Go check your Box Lunch, the Artist Series. Not my favorite out of the Artist Series, but I am a Scooby-Doo Funko Pop collector, and I would add this one in my collection for sure. Also, before we get on to our next slide, and we start talking about the New York Comic Con Funko Pops, be sure to hit that like button, guys. It really does help my channel out. I'm, I have some huge goals before we get to 2021. I hope you guys can help me accomplish those. Subscribe if you're new, share this video with your friends and comment down below. I need to know your opinion on this. This is like, I have a lot of mixed feelings about the New York Comic Con and I, I really need you guys to weigh in. So here we have some con exclusives. It is the Pizza Rat and the Pigeon. And what was the Pigeon called? It's a Poly Pigeon. You got the t-shirt, you got some pins, Funko Pops, and I, man, I don't mind the wrap or the uh, pizza wrap, but I don't want it. Um, limited to 3,000 pieces, Polly Pigeon limited to 1,500 pieces. I absolutely hate Polly Pigeon. Like, I think it's the worst mascot besides the, um, the ones that they do for the Emerald City Comic Con. Can't stand them. I think the pizza wrap's an upgrade, but not by much, honestly, and like I said, I think they need to go a whole different direction with these mascots. I don't know who designs these, but they need to have fans design the mascots for the Comic-Cons because whoever designs these suck, like get fired. Here we have some more Pizza Rat and Polly Pigeon. Instead of the, if you go back to this slide, it has the, the Pizza Rat has the red hat on and then the Polly Pigeon has the red shirt on or orange or whatever. And then here you have the blue hat for the pizza rat and the blue shirt for Polly Pigeon. I'm passing on both of these. Maybe some of you guys will want these and go ahead and pick them up. Um, Cause they're limited, they probably will have some value to them. But other than that, I, I, mean, I'm, I will never pay over value for it. Now here is one that they nailed on the head. Right now they are, in my mind, one for two as far as what I'm picking up. We have Carl and Ellie and here she is painting the fence, the, or actually it looks like she's painting the mailbox. Carl has a little bit of paint on his hand, and it's, this is uh, awesome. Just stay tuned to the end too, because we actually have the box glam shots for these, so you don't want to miss out on those. But all up Funko Pops have done well, and the con one is not gonna be. Is this the best one that they've released? Uh, I think the house was pretty good. I really like that one, but this is gonna be up there, honestly, in my, in my opinion. This is the best one that released today, hands down. So I'm keeping score now. One for two right now. Here's another one that I'm picking up, but I think it's a miss. I'm picking this one up, but one for three right now that Funko is. I personally like it. Like I like the child with the pendant. I don't mind it, you know, if they released it, but I don't think that it should have been a New York Comic Con just because we've already had four of these. So this Mandalorian Funko Pop should have just been released at like Target or something or whatever. And they should have brought back the Mandalorian, I don't know, with the child over his shoulder, just something different. Maybe the Mandalorian with its, not, not maybe, what they should have done was the Mandalorian with his ship. Like, come on Funko. Like Funko does not partner with other people, but they need to because I have great ideas that they should have done a complete, they should have gone a different way with this. And the, the uh, I don't know what the Mandalorian ship is called, but they should have made that ship with the Mandalorian or the or, or the baby Yoda or the child with it in there, but what whatever. The Star Wars Funko Pop's a huge miss for me. One for three, I'll pick it up because you know, it's Star Wars and I, and I, I need it for my collection. Here is the actual pop close up with him holding the pendant. So there you go. If you're a Star Wars fan, do you agree, disagree? Like, I agree this should have been made, but I definitely think that they should have done something different for the New York uh, Comic Con. Here we have the box glam shots of Luke Skywalker as trainer 
and Princess Leia in training. I, mm, another miss for me, honestly, I did not really care for this scene in the episode. I'm just harping hardcore on, uh, like I'm picking uh, picking them up just because they're Star Wars and the New York Comic Con. I love what they did with the New York Comic Con sticker. I think it's great, um, but the, the choices and the picks for this uh, are, are, are misses. Like, I'd rather have had the, um, it's fine, that dog or the Hulk on this instead of instead of what we have right now one for five right now all you star wars funko pop collectors out there let me where you at let me hear hear you and like i said here it is from the the last star wars movie but what are we at right now one for five i think that's what our score is of you know stuff that i think aren't uh our misses now here we have one it's an ad icon for all you ad icon funko pop collectors out there i think this one is going to do well Two for five. This is a this is going to be a huge win for Funko. Whoever thought of this one, congrats! You put out a good Funko Pop for the New York Con Comic Con. This is from the Sp Spangler Candy Company. Honestly, I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't know Dum Dums had a mascot. And don't lie to me. If you didn't know that the Dum Dums didn't have a mascot, let me know in those comments. Don't lie. Be like, oh yeah, I knew. I knew. No, I really didn't know Dum Dums had a mascot. But uh, everybody knows Dum Dums, and who doesn't want to have Dum Dums, a Dum Dums Funko Pop? So, two, four, five. Here we have the Harry Potter Pop, Juan Reasley, and then his mom is going to be with the house. So, uh, I don't collect Harry Potter right now. Uh, I think this is a win for Harry Potter fans out there, too. But for me, it's a miss, two for six. So, um, I think that I don't really want the, you know, the Weasley house, but the, that's my opinion on it. We have Jandito Sochi, and I probably butchered that from Junji Jandito Collection. So if you know how to say that, let me know. But miss for me, two for eight. Um, has anybody heard of this? I'm sure, I'm sure somebody has heard of this, and maybe this is one of the more popular characters on this, but I don't relay, relate with this at all. So, um, Maybe somebody can explain to me why this is a New York Comic Con. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's like, oh, it's just as popular as Naruto, but is it though? And so we'll, we'll, we'll see. But as far as the, the popularity of this one, it has seen some, you know, okay response. The one that's been, that has had the biggest response right now is up. But from the from what I've seen on these other ones, they're just like average. They're just like, eh, it, they're just okay. And here we have the, something to look out for Entertainment Earth. Their exclusives are going, I mean, this was a continual timer, but we have two days and 17 hours now until they start releasing some of their exclusives. So Entertainment Earth usually does some good ones. So stay tuned for that. Pinocchio is a win. So what we at, we at what, three for seven right now? We have Jiminy Cricket. This is classic character from Pinocchio. Who doesn't want another Pinocchio Funko Pop? I'm telling you, I do. This one is definitely justified in being in the Neo Comic Con, a great, great Disney Funko Pop. Burrow and Molly Weasley. So that's the Weasley house right there. I think actually a lot of Harry Potter fans are pretty stoked for this to, to come out, but uh, like I said, I don't, I don't really care for it too much. So here you go, the Dum Dums, and Drum Man, and this is why I really, really want this one is because of the clam shot or the the box on this. I think just pops the blue, red, yellow combination all together in a pop, and I'm really glad what the Funko did with this one. And then Polly Pigeon, Payas, Payas, Payas. It's like, you know that uh, wallpaper that you, you find in like a, a home that's been foreclosed on? That's pretty much the box design on this. It's that nasty wallpaper. <laughs> Carl, Carl and Ellie, gonna be a sell out. Well, all these are gonna be sell outs, but Carl and Ellie, huge, huge win. Pizza Rat, same wallpaper box, pass, pass, and that concludes it for today's episode. Don't forget to join the giveaway. I definitely need to hear from you guys on this episode. I I don't know, like, 
can things get worse from here? I think it could. San Diego Comic-Con, when they release their Funko Pops, they released the fire in the first day. And so if this is the New York Comic-Con's fire, I am trembling to see what happens tomorrow. Like some great, some great pops that came out today. Maybe they have more than the uh, San Diego Comic Con, but I don't think so. Maybe they bring the wow factor in the next couple of days, but none of these particularly wowed me except Pinocchio and Up. So it's, um, you know, the balls in Funko Pop and the are uh, in Funko's court right now. But that concludes it for today's episode of the New York Comic Con 2020 Funko Pop. Final reveals, Funko News for New York Comic Con for September 14, 2020. Don't go anywhere because tomorrow we're going to have day two reveals. I'm assuming there's going to be a day three. There's usually three days. So stay tuned for all that. I, I'm i going to get this video up for you guys as quickly as possible. And before you guys leave today, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to leave a comment down below um, what you guys think of today, today's reveals, what you're picking up. Subscribe if you're new. Share this video with your friends. Funko Pops on the rise are actually the most expensive for the New York Comic Con video is going to be coming out. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion on what pops are going to be worth some money. What pops are just going to be, you know, busts and, you know, collect it because you like it. But if you're trying to add value to your collection, then definitely collect these, these Funko Pops. And then um, I'll tell you what I'm going after. And then what also shows some social media is saying about these pops. So when I make my lists, it's not just based on what I think is going to do well. It's based off of Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Discord. Like it's a combined knowledge of experts in the Funko Pop world, as well as people that work in the Funko shop. So as well as people that work for Funko. So my collaborations go deep and I'm excited to always bring you guys that information. You're not going to find this on any, I can say that with confidence. You're not going to find that to find this stuff on any other, um, Funko news channel, episode, YouTube, whatever. But anyways, guys, big by big, collect all the pops. I'll see you next time. Another episode of Funko news.